They're like, oh my gosh, she's petty these chickens. What is she doing? Oh my gosh. And then it was shortly after that, she went in with just poking on the goat. She just really started going, okay, I like these animals. And then we really started taking notice too. We make sure that if an animal comes in and they are used to cats and the owner's okay with them coming in. I like to think that she understands, hey, I've been there before. She just sympathizes with it. She's very cautious and she'll often sit there for a good 10 or 20 minutes before she'll even put her pot in just to make sure they're happy. She senses their energy. So she's a pretty good judge of character in that sense. And the animals sense that too. They're just like, oh, okay. about everything. B was brought to us really young. She was found as a stray. By the time we thought, okay, you're gonna be fine. She just loved this hospital so much. If they loved being here, we just let them stay. She was the most playful. She was just looking for somebody to rough house and play with. Peggy came in a similar situation to B. We noticed B right away was poking her paw in, saying, I like this cat, let's be friends. And so then we decided to keep her. Her and B became best buddies. Peggy kind of follows B around, almost like she's just trying to mimic what B does. And B's running around, then Peggy will run around. Bee sleeping on the chair, Peggy sleeps on the chair. Bee is touching the birds, and then Peggy comes out and she's like, oh, I can touch the birds too. They both had the same demeanor. We had these chickens, and Bee was watching, so Peggy comes up and she's like, oh, okay, I'll watch them too. It's almost like Bee was like, yep, yeah, that's how you do it. Peggy goes up, puts her little paw in, like, okay, I do this. And now sometimes Peggy will do it on her own while be sleeping. She's just so calm and curious, like her big sister. It's been a great morale for everybody. We've fallen in love with them.